everyone, Achika here, and it's Wednesday, so that means it's time for another DCO base showcase here on the channel. And today I've got another very special one lined up for you guys. Uh, Infundati hit me up after seeing some of my YouTube videos, and they said, Hey, I'm a decorator, and I got a bunch of bases. <laughs> they decorate on their alts, too, so... <laughs> <laughs> they have a nice handful of uh, bases like I do, so I can definitely uh, relate to that. But the first one I saw actually uh, really caught my eye, and I enjoyed it, and I wanted to share it with you guys. So without further ado, let's get into Infinati's Cavern. So let's see here. I think they're pretty high up on my large, like, large mass, yeah, base teleporter. <laughs> <laughs> so many of you guys have added me to your base teleporters. Thank you so much. It's awesome. <laughs> I love just going through bases when I have spare time. Ah, this is very, very nice. All right. So we start off on a sky bridge. Yeah. So this is what really caught my eye uh, when I first came in here. So a lot of people do use bridges like this, but... I really like the use of the fog because it's so thick. I think there's like multiple layers of it down there that it really looks like you're above like the clouds almost or like there's there's a lot of depth there. Or it's the waterfalls like splashing up and you're just suspended above this misty misty forest here. So cool. <laughs> Oh, there's an armory there. That's very nice. I really do love these old bridges. They get a lot of use in the, the smaller bases. Ah, back on ground again, away from the perilous heights that we just endured. <laughs> oh, nice. This is really cool. I did something like this in uh, Amalthea's base for uh, Equinoxal Delights, actually. Like, I, I like turning these uh, little nooks or alcoves into, like, uh, pond areas and waterfalls. It works really well. Oh, very cool. So remnants of a civilization here with the architecture that's overgrown. Ooh, we got some wells too. Maybe we're coming into a village of some sort and it looks like it with this right here. Ooh. Wonder what's in there. Let's take a look. Ooh, honey. And a house. Very cool. This is nice. It's just a nice little gated, like, maybe this is like a, it's just a nice house. I love this. <laughs> this is awesome. It's definitely got the stay off my lawn vibes, but I could dig it. <laughs> yeah, this is really nice. I re like, I really love when people use the shed entrances like this. That's really neat. Make your own little village. I'm working on an elf village right now myself. Christmas Elf Village. Hopefully it'll be done by winter. But I never know with how <laughs> my decorative prowess goes. It, it wanes very constantly. Ooh, okay. So we have a... Oh, we have a lavish setup up here. So we got like a hot tub and some windows. Oh my. And a pond. And a bed. Ooh, look at that. So we must have gone inside when we go out the stairs. I'm assuming. But there's still grass inside. Oh, like maybe like a worn over area. I get it. Okay, okay. Very cool though. I still have yet to utilize the bagpipes. I think it's really great. I love like wall decorations like that, like mounts. So you can like put them over fireplaces and everything, but I have yet to make a good use of the bagpipe. I'm gonna have to think on that one. Alright, let's go back down the steps here. Ooh. Yeah. Alright, and now. Oh, 
Oh, curtains. Okay. Ooh. Looks like we're getting into some spooky territory here. Very cool. Very wide open, but also very, like, malevolent vibes with the windows and the statuary, too, right? Feels like it's like a church that's been cleaned out. Ooh. Very luxe. And very gothic. And a little worn down, too. I like it. Can't play the piano, but I tend to do okay with organs. <laughs> At least they don't randomly explode on me, so that's always good. Ah, nice. Got the fireplace here. I like the use of the windows, too. I don't use those as often as I should, because I always think of them as, like, exterior windows rather than interior. But they work pretty well for interior as well. Ooh, dueling instruments. I wonder if they do the same thing as like the summer one does, like if you get close to one. No, they seem to just like go together. Interesting. The very ethereal, angelic music against the macabre organ music. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Got a forge here with an alchemy table. Ooh, seems like something's brewing. Ah, now we have a little workshop here. Or a library. A study, perhaps? I like this because there's no, like, outright macabre stuff going on. Like, you know, bodies or goo or blood or bones or anything. But it's just very... Because of the ambiance and... The setting and the setup. It feels very... Like you could tell something went down here. Almost like, like Brim Stoker's Dracula, like the movie. It's like, hmm. You can tell something weird's going on here. Something weird's going on. You don't really know what. I can appreciate that. <laughs> and I think that's the end of the tour, if I'm not mistaken. Man, after going through so many manor themes and uh, House of Legends themes, it's really nice to just go through an older, uh, one of the earlier themes. Just to kind of have a nice, nice classic tour. <laughs> I think I'll end in the library. That seems like a very, a chica thing to do. <laughs> Read some books for later. <laughs> So thank you so much for watching, and thank you, Infinati, for uh, inviting me over to check out your stuff. Um, I really loved your base. This is great, and I can't wait to show the rest of them as well in the, in the future. So, um, And yeah, like I said, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, no new announcements, really, just base off still going on. You guys have about a week and a half left to get your uh, Back to Basics uh, stuff in. I've gotten three entries so far, so that's pretty cool. Um... Again, I know it's a very unorthodox challenge. I wasn't expecting too many entries, but maybe you guys will surprise me. Maybe you're waiting until the very last minute, which I probably would do too if I was entering a base contest. <laughs> so we'll see. Um, yeah, and uh, nothing much there. Um, I'm currently working on a base that's it's going pretty well. It's going slow, but hopefully it'll pick up uh, soon. Uh, I'm going to post some images actually on my Twitter for if you guys, if you want to take a look at some works in progress. Or I might uh, do a decorator stream on Sunday night. I think I'm free this week. Uh, so this coming Sunday. Uh, I don't know what the date is on that. This is going to come out on... So yeah, whatever Wednesday this comes out on will be the, the following Sunday. So in a couple of days. So maybe I'll get on that. <laughs> if you guys want to watch. If not, like no worries. I... Could definitely just sit and decorate regardless. So, <laughs> um, yeah, thank you again so much for watching. Uh, and I think that's it. So I will catch you guys in the next one. 
Take care, everybody.